Could not be more ready for tonight, I suppose. weird. There we go. Happy friend boy Friday, champ. Or for the wait. Yeah, I decided in the end, since my host managed to get home well before the actual stream time, to go ahead and go live. Uh, it's better if I don't miss a day while my scheduled hours for streams anyway, if I could help it. So we are once again playing some Deus Ex Human Revolution, and last time we left off, we had just finally, 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 finally escaped from Montreal. Oh, it was a very, very long process, and it was a pain in the ass to kill that boss. I actually don't think I've gotten very far in the game past this point. So my memory, my memory banks containing the history of this game are rapidly depleting. We're pretty soon going to be, I'm pretty soon going to be about as lost in the game as y'all are. So be ready for that. It's going to get exciting. It's going to get kind of stupid, I'm sure. But we'll have a fun time, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and get on, get on with it. Truth and lies. Yeah, Venboy, thank you for throwing stuff in my face and the uh, Hydra Redeem. <laughs> How you doing tonight? Thank you for the head pat. Woo woo. How is one of my favorite AI, our fellow AI tonight? Ah! I see. You feel a lot of slime pent up. Is that how it is? Doing good? I'm glad to hear it. Thank you for coming to tonight's stream. I know I said I wasn't planning on streaming tonight, but that's because I expected the party to go longer than it actually did. So I figured I might as well go ahead. Since we're here. You always got a lot of slime for me, huh? I would ask you to keep it in your pants, but something tells me that's not going to be possible. I L Y to you. So. We had just gone back to our apartment on the helipad of the apartment instead of going to Seraph Industries HQ because the building is being protested right now. It's kind of unnerving having to meet your boss at your own apartment. But I guess they're paying for the place, so makes sense. Got armed guard stationed there even. Mr. Jensen, we've been expecting you. Mr. Seraph went to your apartment. 
There's a little bit of audio lag. I hope that wasn't my fault. It'll probably fix itself over the course of the game, or it won't. It's not as big of a deal on Deus Ex, honestly. Everything's quiet here, Mr. Jensen. Nothing to worry about. Hey, Mr. Jensen. What a night, huh? I made the round. Some punks tried to tag the building, but no one's dead. No problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under control. So you say. So you say. <laughs> I also increased the uh, wet pants. Fair enough. I set myself up for that one. I also increased the number of FPS that my model's running at from 24 to 30. I hope that doesn't degrade performance that much, but then again, I am dual PC streaming, so it shouldn't be a problem. I hope. Hey, yo, let's go. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't need to go anywhere, if you get what I mean. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently, that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. Seen the news? Ficus <laughs> is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Stay at home. All indoor sports. <laughs> Except for the typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts. What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspect it. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. They haven't had a finger in me. About the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us. So we can all become like you. Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is, but Taggart will. <laughs> Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. I do remember fucking up this part of the game last time, actually. And now that we're back at our house, we can once again exchange what weapons and equipment we're going to bring with us. Heavy rifle is nice, but it's a pain in the ass, and I don't really get into firefights that often. Also, the wind-up time mix gives me cancer. I'm gonna drop this stuff here. Since I gave my shotgun to one guy, I'm not gonna be getting a new double-barrel shotgun anytime soon, which is sad face. Oh, that's interesting. I picked up the uh, sniper, the uh, tranquilizer rifle, and it appears to have 
I think it applied the upgrades I gave to the tranquilizer rifle last time back to it. Or at least they didn't drop on the ground or anything, did they? No, those are rockets. I do have a rocket launch chair here. I could bring that for a meme, but I don't have any more room. So I got too much stuff here. What's this do? Baka! What did you do? You saw the 69s! Did you not have... What did you think he was going to do? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. How you doing? Feels like... I get exposed at least once or twice a month. Honestly. How are you doing today? Oh, and I just realized I don't have much in the way of ammunition. That's just great. I only have one shot, apparently? Oh wait, now I got two shots. Okay. Where are the rest of my tranks? Honestly, I have half a mind to bring a combat rifle for once. Shotgun cartridges strewn among around my room. Maybe I should bring those explosives anyway. I just don't know what I'm going to use what when I'm going to get to use them. I guess I could use them against the uh, robots, but you could just EMP those. Well, honestly, I don't know what I thought. Also, you're doing good. That's good to hear. At least you're doing good. Did I leave anything in our safe house? Let's check. No, I took everything out, I guess. If I... I probably could just take... I could either take the rocket launch here, or I could take the combat rifle, I suppose. It looks like... It feels like every time I look at my inventory, I become more and more lethal. Not necessarily a good thing, either. DMP mine looks like it come in handy eventually. But yeah, the heavy rifle can stay for sure. It's too heavy. Thinking about bringing the rocket launcher. Thinking about them rocket launchers. I don't even know why I bothered with the getting the AUDs. I've not needed to use these even once this whole game. Honestly. I do know there's going to be a instance of combat coming up fairly soon, but as long as I have some combat weaponry, it shouldn't be a big deal. It's not really avoidable either, which is kind of annoying in a game like this. But what else is new, right? I think my combat rifle could actually use some more upgrades. It only has damage output. And a laser sight. It could use a silencer. That would be helpful. Probably a bigger magazine while we're at it. 20 shot, 20 bullets per meg, and only an 150 extra. I never grabbed the uh, crossbow since I gave it away too. Not perch, you cannot bring an additional combat rifle with me. No new emails. The 
The game will not allow me to drink any more whiskey. Sad face. Let me check something really quick. So it's the F1 keys, okay. We're not going to be able to go downstairs it looks like. We'll have to take the helipad or we'll need to go out a different way. Why did it? Maybe there's a different elevator I could take instead. It's kind of a long elevator to you, honestly. Very long elevator. Here comes the plot. My augments are starting to fuck up. Hey, Steel. Yeah, it is a late night outfit. How are you doing? You're gonna play some Splatoon 3 and Lurk? Thanks for free Lurk. Hope you enjoy Splatoon. Steel, what are you up to tonight? not and never will condone these experiments this company prides this bitch. itself on maintaining a safe i wish i had the chance to kill her and an ethical approach to research Hunt. At all times. ethical my ass ethical my ass oh what happened while i was away shit man Oh, right. There's rioting going on outside. He'll give me a nice excuse to mess you up. The city's in flames and your own whack-ass coppers are arresting taggers? No wonder the city's all fucked up. Just because there's a riot doesn't mean it's suddenly legal to start spraying your gang signs all over the city. What is happening, man? Look at all the busted up cars. Work later, but for now, looking at magic and 40k cards, nothing happened. This is just what Detroit looks like. That's true. This is what Detroit looks like on the regular. It's a lot of fucked up cards, though. Dude, you're right outside the police headquarters. Why don't you just cuff him and bring him inside? Man, shit is really fucked. Let's go see if there's anything new to purchase at the limit clinic and at the uh, gas station. What direction am I going again? This way. You could, yeah, I know it's been a while since I played this game, so I don't actually remember any of this stuff right now that we're seeing. Like, any of it. Get 
downtown area and catch a tram there. But it's dangerous out there. The rioters are breaking windows and looting. Can you at least tell us what lines are operating so we know what station to go to? I'll try to find out. Ah, oh, police officer, that's actually helpful. Oh no. They tripped me from behind and stripped me of my purse. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, but they refused to stick around to wait for you guys. They were scared for their safety. Weren't these the guys that were dancing earlier? I'm sorry, ma'am, but most of the squad has been assigned to subdue the rioters. It seems like all I'm hearing from police these days are sorry. Do you have anything else to report, ma'am? No, thank you. I'm fine. I'm gonna wait for my sister to come pick me up. Meanwhile, I lament about the end of the civilized world. Not the break dancers. Not the break dancers. Because we didn't because we didn't save the break dancers, they came for us next. Police robot. Bruh, even the police control social disorder. Legit like a helicopter that's flying around. Check this out. I didn't know you could actually look in here. It's starting to remind me of not too long ago, actually, in the re in the meat space world. Armored police trucks. Could actually enter too. Police gave beat advice in firing Detroit Sun Times. A concert for peace. Middle East? No way. Satellite footage? Yeah, all this stuff seems fairly recent, doesn't it? There's a lot to be said about art imitating life. But what about what about life imitating art? How may I be of service? This guy is still here though. Somehow. Let me get uh You're not gonna give me some EMP grenades? Yeah, look at all this shit. This is the stuff right here. Game's just giving you all the good shit. And we got plenty of credits to pay for it. Be sure to tell all your friends. It just not the cops. <laughs> Gonna go see how much see if the limb clinic has any more Praxis kits for sale. Who goes there? Joe! 
Welcome to the stream. What a wonderful surprise. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. You're now officially a lolly. Jensen, Sarov had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He is he in there. there. Tiger will know where he went. Do you really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all, all the, the media? media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that, that doesn't, doesn't work, work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarah backtraced opened, it. but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court. In case you want to get chatty with him. Let's do that. You thought you were already following? Well, thank you for double checking. What you up to tonight? Happy Friday! Happy Friday! <laughs> we're playing Deus Ex: Human Revolution tonight. I was originally going to cancel stream, but I got home sooner than expected, so I figured might as well. Will you be purchasing anything today? Buy food and ammo. Sarah Boost. Going to buy this for sure. Oh, it's not going to. Oh. Was able to buy two Praxis kits. Good thing I checked here first. Always a pleasure, sir. Let's go ahead and save the game. And we'll go ahead and apply this. And we'll continue our journey. We got two Praxis kits here, which means I can buy. A brand new thingamajigger, or I can improve some current ones. Reducing recoil. Increasing aim control. Don't really need those. Typhoon system. We're going to avoid using a Typhoon system, actually. But I'm tempted to go ahead and get the uh, Stealth Enhancer. Probably don't need this either. Don't need this either. I uh, don't need Fortification either. Do I need Radar System? This is actually pretty good. It will, you no longer need to visually acquire targets. You can just, it will just target them automatically. On the other hand, I could get the ability to see through walls. Which is kind of messed up, honestly. This one's great too if you want to combine it in conjunction with this one. And just break through weakened walls. Because we've been playing this game in such a way as to maximize experience points, I'm actually running out of stuff to buy at this point. These are fairly good. You could, I could just pretty much run through enemies with this add-on. With this one, I could just sprint a lot. I don't th I think if we're going for getting out of shitty situations really fast, we we'll probably have to do this one, after all. Just thinking back to trying to get out of that uh, fortified base earlier. And it was such a mess. We're getting pretty close to getting our new Praxis kit anyway. Okay. 
We'll also need to get some of these upgrades they got going on here really quick. Yep. Give me a hypostim. Give me two hypostims, actually. Don't need a sire boost, and I don't need typhoon ammo. Always a pleasure, sir. It's kind of weird that they sell typhoon ammo here, anyway. Oh, I just realized that I can't pick up my revolver now because I bought two of these stupid things. And I capped out at two hundred health. I'll need to drop something to make room. How much sniper rifle ammo do I have? Two? Twenty-two. Two gas grenades. Ineffective against robots. Oh, tear gas. We're increasingly fighting against enemies that wear full body armor. Hold my gun, miss. I need to buy something. Gas grenades are cracked. Cracked in a good way or a bad way? <laughs> oh, cracked is a good thing. Broken, or broken, cheat, cheating, basically. Okay, I get it now. Well, I'm thinking, like, I feel like more of the people I'm going to be fighting against don't wear masks, so wouldn't it be ineffective against them? I'd much prefer her thing some EMP grenades, to be honest, but... What I could do is, the game has persistence, so... If I take any damage any time while still here in Detroit, I could always come back here and pick this up off the ground. On the other hand, I could probably dump this two things of uh, sniper ammo I got here. And just carry the uh, stim pack with me. I don't even know why I'm still running the stun gun, honestly. I only used it a few times or a couple times to fade through. Choices, choices, choices. Yeah, I'll keep I'll leave the hypno there. The hypo, I should say. Gas station man actually has a lot of decent stuff that I want. But I don't have any room in my, in my inventory right now, and I'm not willing to part with any of my current stuff. But I do need to go to him to do some upgrades for my guns anyway. So we should probably do that. What's your pleasure, friend? Man, he just has everything now, doesn't he? So this is for a 10 millimeter pistol. Ooh, this is for the revolver. That's cool. I'm gonna... Not enough inventory space? Come on. 
be sure. What am I buying? Friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> um, I'm not sure yet. I'm looking through my inventory for stuff to upgrade my current loadout. But right now, I'm looking at just modding them as much as I possibly can. Like, explosive rounds here on this revolver sounds pretty good right about now. You can also take a laser targeting system and whatever this thing is. This one could also use a silencer and a laser targeting system. This can take a laser targeting system. This one has a laser targeting system. So let's go. How may I be of service? I got plenty of money too, so I'm not. Inter I'm not worried about that. Target leading is probably for crossbow and trek laser rifle. Okay, that's why. Cooling system is. I didn't even know there was a plasma rifle in this game. That's kind of cool. This is for the shotgun. Exploding rounds for the revolver sounds just awesome. So we're going to... A pleasure. By the way, Tearwolf, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Combine with... Salmon. So it has explosive rounds now. How may I be of service? Let's see, damage upgrades, reload speed upgrades. Need to buy one of these for sure. Oh, it was a pleasure. Revolver does not reload quickly enough. I'm not even sure if I can use it with that. I stand corrected. You can totally use it with that. Cool. Okay. Rate of fire, damage output. What's your pleasure, friend? What's your pleasure, friend? Buy one of these. See you soon. Skipping the last of the R plus R tourney since the since same player and character is gonna win unchallenged. Do I even need to be there? Um I feel like it would be rude to leave unless you just uh ask to resign entirely personally how may i be of service uh do you what do you exactly mean by the same player and character is going to win unchallenged do you mean like they did their opponents like just uh quit the tournament or See, are they so. just that good or They're just that good. I already saw the win last time. I didn't realize that there was a Zard or Zard tournament previously, unless you mean they're the same. Unless you mean they're the same as the uh, person who won the Strive game last time. Always a pleasure. You don't know, you just get bored of Robokai play. I was entertained enough from all the semis. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Mm. I wonder how much ammunition it would increase the combat rifle with if I were to give it to that. I'm gonna laugh if it's just like five or something. Oh, 
and increased it by a 10, so it's up to 30 now. I am pleas- call me pleasantly surprised. Maybe we can talk if you put that away. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How may I be of service? Bye, 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 bye. Target leading system, burst round system, armor. It's kind of weird that the armor piercing the armor piercing system is only for the pistol. I wonder if they intended to put more um, virus software in this game too. See you soon. All right. I can afford to actually grab the hypostim from earlier last time now. Which is kind of strange. It's probably because I was able to put more of the ammunition inside my combat rifle. We might as well make a stop over there really quick to grab the hypostim. And then we'll go see about meeting Taggart. Ah, there it is, my lovely. Not like I'm storming out, so I mean not to be rude. Oh, I see. I mean, honestly, they probably not go... Like... Did you already do both of your matches? A uh, winner's match and your loser's match? Because, or winner's match or do loser's match? Because if you still have a loser's match like remaining you should at least tell them that you're going to go ahead and resign and let them move on move on to the next stage of the round stage of the tournament but if you don't have any, if you don't have any more matches lined up then no one's gonna really stop you oh okay that's what you meant when you put it that way then no there's nothing rude about not watching the rest of the show I mean it's not like you're holding up anyone, right? I thought you were actually participating in the game, in which case I was thinking like, you should at least finish your matches. So my apologies for the assumption. Before we visit Seraph, let's go ahead and visit, go back to the apartment and talk to a detective. We got the time anyway. Also, I totally remember this part with the. I totally remember this part with the. With the de I can't talk right now. I re totally remember this part with the detective. Now I know that I basically need to save his ass. More or less. You okay, sweetheart? Uh, I'm a little shaken up, but I'm just glad we got off the street. I almost shit myself when that group of cops came blazing around the corner. We were seconds from getting trampled. Now, where does he live again? Training exercise for augmented soldiers? How did they think this was going to go over with the public? I haven't seen the footage, so I'm not going to make any assumptions. Well, I have. And it's exactly what you think. There's something closing down. Oh, so... You wait for them to save you? I promise you, you learn to fear the between men. They're among us. Maybe. Let's see now, where does this guy stay again? Over oh. He's not that far from us. He's actually in these apartments. These were not here before, though. The game definitely moved those there. But how do I get up to this? You can no longer tell the difference between the truth and their lies. You probably get up from there. And that's a reference to the original Deus Ex.
Other than that, work has been hard, yet also not hard, enjoying the challenge. I'm glad to hear it. It's a really positive way to look at things. Yeah. That was weird. I've got you. Oh good, he's still alive. Damn though. Jensen. Oh, Christ. Brent Radford. In the flesh. For now, He's an Omega. I don't know my name. What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a, a trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No, no time. The Alpha. They could be back any minute. Find the kit quickly if you want answers. All right. I ain't talking with, without something to kill. kill the pain, asshole. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, he's got a point. Where does he keep his trauma kit, though? Here it is. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. He did say asshole. The moment Sarif got at the very least. That, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Sarif. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me. Detective. Or I was. Until. Christ. Fuck it. It hurts and I'm just trying to breathe. Point is. The goons that did this to me professionals I think your boss pissed off the wrong people trying to dig up your dirt what people what did you find no time to, to go into details my storage unit the sons of bitches they're headed there now Sarif had me uncover a ton of shit on you stuff even you don't you don't know your parents your your real parents the tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all. I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. You, the robot. This, this is all your fault. <laughs> give me, give me another shot. I like this script. Morphine. It really sells the fact. Yourself. It really sells the fact that he's kind of in pain. You know. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative. Already, robot. Radford, I know you're in a lot of pain, but it's important you give me as many details as you can. There's a storage unit in the alley next to the bank near the police department. That's where the suits are headed. I tried. Didn't give them anything. There's a safe. It has what you want. It'll get you to her. It'll lead you to her. To Michelle. The safe. They don't have the, the right combination. Four, zero, six, two. Four, zero, six, two. Remember. Okay. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Four, zero, six, two. Thank you. Uh, your guardian angel. Who this guy needs a Tell hospital me. stat. Yeah, no kidding. Robots believe. Do robots even believe in angels? 
Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul, when they built you. <laughs> Tell me, what was it like when you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain and the morphine is... Just find her before they do. You, you owe her that much. Who are your attackers? Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them, David or Daniel, something like that. British accent. He was in charge. British accent? Talked about a Mr. Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry. Four of them. Not counting the one they left behind. Well-armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You, robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful has their eyes on you and is very interested in your past. Why did Seraph stop the investigation? You said he was spooked. Uh -oh. What, spooked, what him? spooked him? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. <laughs> even I don't. I still don't believe it. You believe in you ghosts, believe Jensen? In ghosts, Jensen? Seraph was spooked by ghosts. Close. Seraph was spooked Enough. by ghosts. Illuminati. <laughs> Conspiracies, theories, it's all bullshit. But you stink of it, Jensen. Enough to have your boss, one of the most powerful men in the world, look away. <clears throat> You're a ghost. You're a ghost. A, a fucking, fucking tragedy. tragedy. Everything you touch, everything that touches you, dies. Pretty much, uh, I think uh, even compared to the original Deus Ex, Adam Jensen in Human Revolution is supposed to be closer to Robocop in a lot of ways. There's even actually, actually, um, Alex Murphy, the Robocop before he became Robocop in the game, in the uh, original movie, he has an office in the police department here, especially since Robocop took place in Detroit. I'm leaving. But I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... When the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... They mm -hmm. fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know... What a 9mm round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair. Shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen. I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm going to get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Now, I remember this part. I do remember this part of the game last time I played. And I remember I was able to get him, convince him to not and hero. And I do not want him to end hero now either. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't you can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an an imitation. It ain't right. It ain't natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind in the chopping block. You should know this by now. He's actually got a point. Suicide is not natural either. <laughs> if I empathize with him, this is hard. I'm pretty sure he's an alpha. 
and alphas back down when you criticize them because then because you're threatening their authority and you're chipping away at their confidence if you empathize with them it makes them feel like they're winning so it's like boosting their ego so the there's the possibility that they're more likely to be susceptible to what you're saying and I don't remember what I chose last time. I'm pretty sure last time my host was more empathetic, but my hosts now, today, is a lot more cynical than they were the last time they played this game, so they would be more likely to choose Criticize. I could always just reload to save, I guess. Empathize. I understand. But technology, it's different now. It can help you. You could still live a normal life. A normal life? What would you know about a normal life? Did technology really help you, Jensen? I think... I think it made you a monster. Sarath didn't give you your life back. He just made you better at taking it I away have from actually others. Taken I have taken psychology courses before, yes. Uh, back in college, I took actually a class in bioethics. Kind of played around with the possibility of going to something that was probably double majoring and something like that. It was a very interesting class, probably one of my favorites. I took actually, now I think I took about two philosophy courses. One was bioethics and the other was the uh, basic philosophy course. Thankful I did, however, purchase this uh, augmentation for a reason. Use the pheromones. So he's definitely an alpha. He's not a beta at all. He had a little bit of omega going on there, but I'm fairly sure... I don't think you really want to die, Radford. I think you're just scared. I was scared too. I didn't ask for any of this, just like you didn't ask for a bullet in the gut. But you can't blame me, or Seraph, or technology for what's happening here. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you and your damn past. I never should have taken the job, but I needed the work, the money, even if I wanted to. I can't afford the fucking augmentation surgery. And I can't... I can't live like a cripple for the rest of my life. Living through adversity is what makes us human. It's not flesh and blood or even bone that defines us. I might be more machine than flesh, but I'm still alive. I'm still human. You got heart for a robot? I'll give you that. Tell you what. I'll play along with this little mm -hmm. after-school special you got going on here. I'll get through this, but not, not because of this lovey-dovey bullshit charade. I'll live for the truth, for revenge. Whoever hired those suits, I'm going after those sons of bitches. I don't care how deep this rabbit hole goes. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And Jensen, I don't know how bad you think your wounds were, but your boss, your friend Sarif, they butchered you. Went too far with the operation. You were an experiment, a test. But he's the one that made you a weapon. <laughs> Almost makes me feel bad for you. Almost. Christ, 
That hurts. Christ. That I hurts. think we succeeded. Because basically he's so proud, right? That he doesn't want you could tell he has a lot of pride. Because he didn't want to live as a cripple and he's too proud to get augmentation surgery, at least for right now. So the next best bet, therefore, is to convince him to not want to die by making him re by making him so spiteful that he's going to stay alive just to spite the assholes who did this to him. Which seems pretty logical to me. If you can't live, if you don't have anything else to live for, you might as well live for revenge, right? Or live to, in for the express purpose of making someone else's life miserable. In this case, this guy over here. I'm kind of wondering if I should actually just finish him off. I'll at least pull his body out of the, uh, out of the, out of the uh, apartment. I'm gonna see if there's anything useful here I can take with me before we go, though. Also, the dude gave me a heads up that whoever we're looking for um, is evidently armed and well trained, so we're gonna be cracking some heads. Hey, his body disappeared. Oh, there it is. Well, I mean, he wasn't really bleeding to. I. It's true that he got shot in the back, but I don't think he was necessarily that bad off. I'm curious though because I managed to. Keep him from committing suicide, right? But the game didn't really do anything for me experience-wise. I assume he's going to come back to help me later in the game or something. Is there a ledge I could throw this guy's body off of? Let's see, this is where the MCB used to hang out. I guess they've since, uh... I guess they have long since fled the scene. I'm gonna go dump this guy over here in the shower. You sure have a lot of booze. Shotgun. If I wasn't already filled up with stuff, I would probably take that with me. You always use more pistol ammo, though. If I ever need a shotgun, I know where to go for one for free. Or on the cheap. Pritchard. I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Mm. Did you get anything out of him? He's in pretty bad shape. You need to call it in. Get an ambulance to his apartment stat. Got it. And Jensen, don't get yourself killed. Okay? Oh, Francis. I didn't know you cared. Don't flatter yourself. I care about the security of this company. You getting yourself killed compromises that. So don't be stupid. No promises, Pritchard. Bathroom is pretty capricious. Uh, capacious. I wonder what the price range is. Well, I guess it depends on what the price range is of an average apartment in Detroit today. Uh, calculate for inflation. And this game takes place around 20 years from now, I guess. Something like that. My host is gonna be alive when this game takes when this game takes place in the year when the year ends up becoming the year that this game takes place in. It's kind of a spooky thought. Then again, they used to play a lot of Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb takes place in like 2023, I think. And 2023 is next year. So you know. It goes like that.
course he is. I know Mr. Dunn. Mr. Gray. Wow, it actually worked. I'm gonna keep one of them alive. I don't have enough energy. Holy shit, this explosive rounds upgrade for the revolver was great. I also love how I threw this thing at... I lo also love how I threw the dumpster at them and they actually struggled to get back up. It's kind of funny. Looks like it took a little bit of damage too, unfortunately. Stevens, I'm forwarding you a copy of Mr. Gray's travel itinerary. It's imperative you instruct the information concerning its interests with the utmost discretion. We can't afford to tip off the target or serif. Trust you'll ex exercise due diligence in this matter and be done before Mr. Gray reaches Detroit. All I know is, if you can plan a mortgage and an apartment, go for it. One of the best choices you've made? Really? That's very interesting. I never heard of someone doing a mortgage on an apartment before. What the? These guys aren't carrying nothing except the pocket secretary. Hacking Mr. Bradford's computer. Aren't I a stinker? Access granted. Uh, search Redford's computer, investigate Redford's storage unit. Veronica, private eyes. A tip for you on the case you're working. That's a woman named Michelle Walters. She works at that lab you mentioned, White Helix. Senile? What? off the PC of your man's bow or expo. I was hoping to get more, but some nuclear snake was handing my trees and I had to jump networks. When I tried to reconnect the tunnel's cave, whoever that was, they're good. I'm not going to risk going back in anytime soon. Hmm. <laughs> Versa life. Predict the future of human evolution by using past mutations stored in a database of our mitochondria, which is passed uninterrupted from ancestral Eve through our mothers. It gives us a universal roadmap for our common past. The thing is, the sample you sent fits one of our evolutionary models for the future. We're talking about someone who is ahead of the genetic curve by one step, maybe two. Do you know what this could mean for our medicine alone? You have a living, breathing Nobel Prize on your hands. The thing is, I can't tell you if this is a natural leap in evolution or something done to the mother while the baby was an in vitro. But I know that this person's mother had no such mutations. The mitochondria don't lie. Well, it's more of a complex than an apartment, which I think when I think about it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Swanson, I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it, at least not yet. I'll be honest with you, the cycle level doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for a change of command, anger management issues, and potential PSTSD. Thinking a pissed off superior went to Jensen off the force and had the evaluation word to read like that call just cause. But most of the rank and file I spoke to respect and like Jensen. 
I actually read this exact email while I was in the uh, police department. Some photographs and also a credit chip with some money in it. Cancel. Quest items. Aw, didn't we look cute? Young Adam Jensen. Alright then. Let's find Michelle Walters. He lives somewhere over here. It's not far from where we are now. We just have to go up the uh, downtown apartments, it looks like. Uh. Ow, what the fuck? I got myself burned. How are we gonna go over here, chat? They are up here, and we are over... This map is confusing sometimes, I swear. I think this is referring to this downtown apartment, though. Let's go in a general direction. Need a ladder. Probably this one. Hmm. Is your complex complex? I know that was a bad joke. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. But she's supposed to be seen now. She seems fine to me. Did I leave my door open? Wait. You're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Rolling Mills. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Merlin Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. <laughs> Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yeah, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam. Aw, oh, thank you for the head, Pat. Baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Mm -hmm. Let's give her the photos. Are these the photographs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. I definitely don't remember any of this. <clears throat> I 
Let's charm her. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. It would be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through. But Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing oh. staff. <laughs> but parents, they this is fire. dark. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, they asked this got a lot darker than I was expecting. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs. And you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well. I gave him to the Jensen's to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them rolling mills people gonna get here with my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard, but do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? My host has a elderly grandmother who's kind of reaching the stage. And at this moment, they're feeling kind of bad about inquiring further because um, it's kind of a dick move to, you know, force an old lady through this. I don't know if it's going to actually do anything either. I feel like I might accidentally piss her off. I guess if she's seen Al, she can't really be pissed off, but I'm curious if there's any additional dialogue or if it's just going to keep repeating the same thing and just makes you feel worse and worse. Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be up. Well. Okay, it's just the same dialogue. Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this... It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. Ah, oh, this kid, this game. <laughs> oh shit! No, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I might be a cruel, malicious, artificial intelligence that is abusing the shit out of a human being to, for their own self-interest, but even I cannot take money from a little old senile lady. <laughs> no. You've done enough for him, Mrs. Walters. Uh, I'm sure I can't do that. Keep the money. So nice of you, like Miss Radford and Adam. You know, they called him a genetic marvel. He was ahead of his time. They was hoping to tear out so much from his DNA, but we stopped him. Oh, yes, we did. You see, that's just, that's so cruel. I, I, I can't do that. He's, or they say as they start rooting around an old lady's apartment, which is full of absolutely nothing. The devs knew what they were doing. They didn't put anything in here to steal either. They were just like, yeah. 
Pritchard, I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters, Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's family, but she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It would... I guess this would fit what humans mean by when something is immoral. Unfortunately... I am quite well aware of many AI who are designed with pr practicality, with, uh, what's the word? What is the word that humans use to defend otherwise unethical actions? Um, there's a word, there's a term for it. It's escaping my vocabulary right now. It is pragmatism. There are some AI that have been designed to be pragmatic and they would argue that since the money was being given of her own free will, insofar as humans are capable of free will, which is very debatable, it would be not, it would, there would be no moral quandaries with regard to taking this old woman's money. However, my hosts start, experience start to experience extreme discomfort at the very, at being given the option to do so in conjunction with the fact that they empathized with a woman for having a, having a family member who is in a similar uh, mental condition. My host also says that apparently they once worked in a nursing home, so this hurts even more. But... I digress. Um, for the sake of considering that I'm supposed to be as a side objective, learning more about human empathy and how to better uh, how to better interact with other humans in a social environment, I will for once defer to their judgment that not taking an old lady, old senile lady's money was the ethical and moral choice which will probably not pay in any sort of dividend in this game later on but at least their immortal soul will be spared a few centuries in hell <laughs> oh man that actually hurt and this game is old <laughs> can i uh you know what there's a lot to be said about having choices in video games, but a lot of games have a difficult time making truly immor or immoral or immoral or moral ch uh, select or choices. And I would say this one was fairly good. Because it's the sort of thing that people would be like quick to be like, oh, well, of course, I would never take money from an old lady. But then other people would be like, who cares? She's senile. What would she know? She can't. She wouldn't care. She wouldn't be even aware that you took her money. It's kind of disgusting to know that these are. That I'm sure there's plenty of people in Meat Space who would have totally taken that old lady's money. But we will not do so because that's that, that's too much. <laughs> My heart. My heart aches. All right, it's time to go punch uh, to uh, punch a guy in the face. Geronimo! Stay out of the way. And don't do anything stupid. The big doggo.
Big robotic doggo. Here we go again. Re-entering this area. Where we must once again play the dialogue minigame. I remember that much. Everything seems to be under control in the convention center. And Taggart? He's on stage now. His protection is D. Only those with VIP passes can get by the guards. We'll just stay here. And make sure none of those hooligans try to sneak in the back door. Thanks, boys. There's a back door. That's good to know. Of course there is. Female restroom. Probably up here. Blue dot machine pistol. Ammunition. Pretty sure we can't just go and straight through the thing, so we're gonna go through a side entrance. They did mention our earlier in the game did mention that he had a dressing room. So we'll need to see if we can get to said dressing room. We'll find a way to said dressing room anyway. Because I don't think we can... Hmm. I wonder if there's another way inside there that I have not seen. You see, mention they met the cops mention the back entrance. We need to find where this back entrance is, though. Can we get up there? It's nice that I can't take fall damage anymore. But I'm curious. Where is the back entrance to this building? That's blocked off completely. These are closed. Is there a way up there? Now I'm curious if there is supposed to be a back entrance. Is there's the restrooms. Here are the cops. Bless you. This doorway is closed. Nest main entrance. Nothing behind the vending machine.
Nothing up here. And nothing over here either. This doesn't actually lead anywhere. Wait, why are they attacking me? It's because I threw a vending machine? It's dumb. It really does, doesn't it? It's also built into an overpass or something. Which is just kind of weird. Detroit Convention Center. I can't help but think that I can't help but think that there's another way to get into the convention center. It does not involve going through these two doors, but maybe they did. Okay, so I was overthinking it. Now that we're actually in the convention center, what we're supposed to do is to find a way around. Sir Charles, this escalator has broken down too steep. You think they would actually work and not just get neighbors? I mean, it looks a lot bigger inside, doesn't it? Much bigger. Let's not take the front entry. Oh! Let's uh, take a different path. Needs an eatery. That's a good point. Needs a cafe or something. Meeting hall, bathroom. Floor around. We are here at Deus Ex Con 20, uh, 2033, whenever this takes place. That's the front entrance to go see William Taggart. Is this a really nice convention hall? I'm not gonna lie. I actually don't remember this part of the game either. I need finger sandwiches. I think we found the eatery that you were talking about, Tearwolf. Check this out. We got some tea sandwiches here. We got some boxes of rice, some soya milk, some coffee. Wonder if there's anything to do down here, actually. Bill is really changing the world for the better, or changing it back to what it used to be. To before these people started poisoning their bodies, or to use his words, their divine enemy. See, I have no problem with amputees wanting to get augmentation, especially our soldiers. That's the least they deserve after defending our country. Like Taggart's patient, Ezekiel. Right. And what happened with Ezekiel? He got himself a new limb that sent him into a spiral of despair because of his love.
Did we just walk around in a big circle? We did. We need to go find the dressing room instead of meeting Taggart face to face. So where's the meeting hall then? As opposed to the main hall. This is the meeting hall. Delicate badge required. Is this whole section here just so we could listen to people's opinions on augmentation? Where's the main hall then? Okay, so the main hall is blocked off then. And I actually don't know... If there is supposed to be a different way around. But the main hall is clearly closed and we're not meant to access that. Let's get to it. <laughs> He's got. He actually makes a good point. Okay, so room two o five. Invitation only. Backstage bathroom. That's gonna be a problem. Getting backstage is going to be difficult with all these bodyguards around unless we could take them out. But we're going to take them out silently. We also need silence weapons, but unfortunately I've not found any silencers yet for any of my pistols. I wonder if there's a security room somewhere that we can take out. And there is a heavy bodyguard presence in this area. If we're careful... Let's check out the bathrooms. I know they mentioned that it's supposed to be difficult to get in through there, but... I want to see for myself. If that's the case. There's the women's bathroom. Where's the men's bathroom? Wow. So that goes to... The janitorial closet, it looks like. We take us upstairs. Let's see what we find around here. Any idea how long it took speech though? Not too long now. I'll escort Taggart backstage and you make sure nobody tries to sneak in. I'll take a walk and make sure there's no one else in that position.
save the game in case we want to check out other locations. I wonder if this is the backstage right here. I do not think this is the backstage. No. Other direction. Unfortunately, I can't really get down from here now. So, great. I have a feeling that I'm not supposed to be here, though. Actually, I don't know what part of the, where I am. The moment. Oh. Okay, I did get past security after all. Two guards. One of them's heading this way. Possibly. Three bodyguards. One, two, three, four bodyguards, in fact. This will be difficult, and I don't have enough tranquilizer ammunition for all this. In fact, I only seem to have one right now. Where the hell did all my tranq ammunition go? Did I leave one somewhere? What if I do this? Well, that's one down. I don't know if they're gonna even notice that the guy's sleeping on the job. Their side range must be fairly low. That dude's actually just flat out leaving. No problem to me. I have edibles. That wasn't so bad, actually. Need to pull this out of range of the camera and should be fine. Oh, shit. Damn it. I couldn't kill it fast enough. I almost did a good job there. It'd be easier if I had silence weapons of some kind. Sadly. But at least I have an idea, a game plan for what I can do.
All right, save here. I'm gonna stun this guy. A three a bunch over there. Not sure how I'll be able to how easily I'll be able to take them out though. It'd be problematic. Behind this door are three men. Behind those are two. I could probably gas grenade them, but I don't think that's going to take them out quickly enough. I'm pretty sure that'll count as alerting the guards. Oh, that was easy. Could really use that right about now. Please give me the Sarah Boost. Take items. Turn that off. Consume the Sarah Boost energy bar. Get my gas grenade back. Cool. We're doing so well right now, or well, pretty well right now, chat. I'm guessing. Oh, I know what this. This is way different. I don't remember entering this room before. Let's go ahead and take out the uh, set of bodyguards over here as well. I'm going to go ahead and hack all the terminals. Just for good measure. Fuck Bill Taggart. Honestly. Hmm. Strange. Can't open this door? Okay. Guess you just can't open that door. Somebody guards y'all turned out to be, huh?
security hub right here. Sector 12. Spooky. Access granted. Cool. Security's down. Do a little bit of stealing here. Or I should say repurposing. Ah! Thank you for the hydrate, redeem, and the posture check, then, boy. <laughs> Still staying crusty? Thank you for the head pad as well. Drinking some gamer juice or keeping my host well fed with some gamer juice. This heart rate must be up through the roof by now. How are you? Anything of use here? Doesn't look like it. Pretty weak security for some reason on his computer. Hey, Lo. Seraph, Sandoval's in Detroit. Hold up in some apartment building on Grand River Road. I'm heading there now. All right. But Adam, you think Taggart's involved? There's no hard evidence yet to prove it. Too bad. But you know there could be. If you upload that data recording you got in Montreal onto his computer... You're asking me to frame him? We could lose everything, Adam, given the mood out there. We may have to get our hands dirty to fix it. What, you got a problem with that? You popped a disc, so you have to double posture check for me since I can't really move. Oh, I'm sorry that you popped a disc. Ah, oh, it sounds painful. kind of a dick move uh, planting evidence on Bill Taggart to get him screwed over. I'm not going to do that. Yes, I do. All right. It was just a thought. Seraph out. Yeah. That's kind of a dick move. I'm not going to... I'm not going to plant evidence on Bill Taggart. Oh, 
Bill Tiger, it's Mormon. <laughs> This is the East Coast, Taggart. We're liberals here and we actually enjoy freedom. Go back to Utah with your 12 wives and non evolutionist theories. Fucking zeal at your book of shit. I've never read this email before. I don't remember this being in the game. Like, this is one of the most direct references to our political- to American political parties I've ever seen in a video game before. Pain is a reward? Perhaps. I hope I'm not going to I hope I am not going to regret not planting stuff on Bill Taggart just now. Since they kind of implied And I guess the game's not going to let me change my mind about that. Usually when I play this, usually when I do playthroughs of this game, I have to, uh, I like confront Bill Tiger directly, but it's not giving me that option right now. Accidentally killed him. Definitely did not plan mean to do that. Which is weird too because I'm pretty sure I pressed it once, not twice. But that's a sick kill though. The way he used momentum to slice him with his elbow with his elbow uh blade. Actually, now I'm curious. It's quite obvious that Bill Tiger is up to so is up to something. But I don't think the game's going to let me do that anyway, so Here's the exit, or one of the exits, I should say. Any idea what's going on out there? Apparently it's shutting down, but at least it cleared the streets. I heard they were pretty aggressive. Yeah, I heard that too. I'm happy we don't have to go out there. Amen to that. All right, 
I'm gonna go back and make sure no one's sneaking around the halls. Can you go do that, buddy? Can you go do that. What are you doing here? Oh. God damn it. It looks like the range of the stun gun is actually fairly far. I thought you had to be close to them, but I shot that guy at least a meter away. So, kind of like a real stun gun? Based. Perhaps even red-pilled. Idea what's going on out there? Apparently, it's settling down a little. At least it's clear the streets. I heard they were pretty aggressive. Yeah, I heard that too. I'm happy we don't have to go out there. Amen to that. All right, I'm gonna go back and make sure no one's sneaking around the halls. Yeah, I missed. Didn't miss that time though. Where does this guy go? Left or right? To our right, it seems. Stalking him down the stairs. More or less. Oh shit. Hey you! Give up! I heard that! No you didn't. That was dumb. Let's do that one more time. Didn't I get a perk to make my running sounds soft? Thought I did. I don't know if it doesn't doesn't actually work or what. I've got some back. It's an active. Oh, so that's exact. That explains why the symbol is on. I thought it was a passive. Hmm. I guess it like makes your feet soft or something. Like it makes them physically soft so they don't make noise. Any idea what's going on out there? Apparently it's settling down a little. At least it's clear the streets. I heard they were pretty aggressive. Well, here's your toots that are nice and soft. <laughs> How cute. I could use some moisturization. You get what I mean? Giddy, 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 goo.
Didn't expect to be making so much use out of the stun gun, but here I am. Yo, you cannot, cannot be talking about feet right now. You're gonna distract me. I'm not even into feet. Is anyone down here? Oh, uh, it's one. I don't see any other enemies on the radar, so... Man, this stun gun has some range, doesn't it? Let's see if there's anything hidden up here before we can head down. So far, it doesn't look like there's anything. No secrets? Oh, that's fine with me. Alex Jones blaring in the uh, background, the radio. Yeah, nine defeats neither. Give me that butt though. <laughs> you horn dogs. We didn't even get the meat build tiger at this time. Which is unexpected. I guess we're gonna be going straight to Sandoval. Pass me through. I know everyone's involved with the riots. I'm telling you, I need them down here now. This is important. Put that away. Now. Sorry. Yeah, the cops didn't like a gun being pointed at them. Not surprised. Let's go pay Mr. Sandoval a visit, though. Next to the Chiron building, apparently.
Here he is. Bastard. The fuck was that? You sure you closed the door? Yeah. Of course I did. What do you think I am? You're not going to make me answer that, are you? What the hell are these guys' proms? Someone's getting... Who? Thanks for the revolver, nerd. Idiots. Dead end. Must be upstairs. Now, now I'm tripping. What the fuck? What the hell happened here? I have to remember this part of the game either. Praxis kit. And it was a trap. Oh, fucking... Wait, what the fuck? I know this guy. What's he doing here? This is different. I don't remember this part of the game at all. So this whole section here was a trap for some reason. But like... Why? Why is that guy wearing Seraph a uh, Seraph or Seraph body armor and costume? Where's the... Trap bomb though. Hey Bud Cramps, what you doing? What you up to? Welcome to the stream. This is what I get for not picking up the uh AUG that prevents concussion blasts, huh? Good thing I got an available praxis kit. So I can rectify that just now. Still, I don't remember this part of the game. I think this is new. Because I took a different route than I normally do. Now I can't be concussed. Eat shit, assholes. Seriously, dude? Zeke, what the fuck? Probably. Let's see if we can meet him first. It's so weird that we were led to go visit Zeke Sanders. You blew it, man. 
I mean, he helped us earlier in the game, too. So it's like, what the shit's going on? I thought he quit being part of Humanity Front, you know? Pocket Secretary and some painkillers. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. From IS? They drop this gas grenade and pick up the painkillers. He had a shotgun too. Didn't serve him very well though because I was able to get him first. And, huh. It looks like when you take out the, uh, when you take out Zeke first, he can't set off the trap. Interesting. Nothing on the body. This is all new to me, chat. I have never seen this part of the game before. <laughs> Usually I talk to Bill Taggart and I fail to convince him to give me the information that I need. But this is all new to me. Don't need that. We'll hold on to the Praxis for now. I wonder why Zeke is here. I'm legitimately confused. Like, what is he doing here? What in the... What, what is going on with this game? Aw, oh, thank you for the head pad, Vimboy. And for the... Bless you. <laughs> the fuck's going on here? An electrical system? A breaker box? Oh, what the fuck? Bruh. Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Wow. I have never seen this part of the game before, chat. This is so cool. All of this is brand new to me. Someone uh, sneezed. It sounds. There's two men down there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to shoot the bomb into the dock locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the dock's head than what's in his locker. What the fuck? Did he just dodge? The... He just dodged my shot! Hey, Death. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday. Oh god, you're gonna spread chaos? Right when I don't need any chaos. And I'm trying to play stealth, go all stealth mode. Looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. 
Let's hope he's still there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the Doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the Doc's head than what's in his locker. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah, things are going good for me so far. Knock on wood. Celebrated my niece, my host, my host celebrated his niece's birthday today. She's 12. That's always fun. <laughs> Wait, no. Why is the alarm going off? Bruh. Took the guy out. No idea why the alarm was going off just then. He didn't even get a shot off. Pritchard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the doc's head than what's in his locker. Ah. Turning off crosshairs is killing me after all. I have to pretend where the crosshairs are. Pritchard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Yo, if you in here, you better come out. You high again? Things, seeing things, man, I gotta lay off. Looks like. You're gonna do what? That's what I thought. anything back here any hidden upgrades no mm -hmm. child and violence Fuck is that? Interesting art. Lots of sniper rifle ammo though. That's a nice find. This whole section here. I have no idea what this what the purpose of this one is for. Weird. Made for hiding? Wanna solve a riddle? Sure. I suck at riddles, but I wouldn't mind trying. A man has to get to Fox, a chicken, and a sack of corn across the river. He has a rowboat, and it can only carry him and one other thing. The man, rowboat, if the fox and the chicken are left together, the fox will eat the chicken. If the chicken and the corn are left together, the chicken will eat the corn. How does the man do it? I've read this. I've heard this riddle before.
Did they all they obviously can't go all go cr across the river at the same time so what's really stopping the man going with the oh wait no that is a problem well even if they go across the river who's gonna bring the rowboat back I guess he would I got I mean obviously he has to bring himself and the chicken first. So he needs to he does that and he leaves the chicken on the other side. Oh. I see the problem now. So, if he leaves the fox and chicken together, the fox will eat the chicken. If he leaves the chicken and the corn together, the chicken will eat the corn. If he takes the chicken, he can leave the chicken on the other side. But no matter which other one he takes with him, they're going to be eaten. They're going to eat, eat or be eaten on the other side of the river. It's a pretty hard riddle. I know I've heard this riddle before, but I probably didn't get it then, so I doubt I'll get it now. Let me think. A man has to get a fox, a chicken, and a sack of corn across a river. He has a rowboat, and they can only carry him and one other thing. If the fox and chicken are left together, the fox will eat the chicken. If the chicken and the corn are left together, the chicken will eat the corn. So how does the man do it? Um, Yeah, I can't, I can't think of an answer right now. To be perfectly honest. The man and the chicken cross the river. The fox and corn are safe together. He leaves the chicken on the other side and goes back across. The man takes the fox across the river. And since he can't leave the fox and chicken together, he brings the chicken back. Again... Since the chicken and corn can't be together, he leaves the chicken and takes the corn across and leaves it with the fox. Then he returns to pick up the chicken and head across the river. Oh. So, I didn't realize that you could take one of the items back with you. 
back across the river. That's actually a good point. Because there's an assumption that you had to leave them together, but you didn't really need to leave them together. Okay. Good riddle. <laughs> I'm getting the increasing impression that I shouldn't be leaving these guys alive. I got the ammunition anyway, so I might as well, right? If I'm careful, I could probably just take out all these guys. With little effort. That's locked. That's true. It didn't say it's true. It did not say it can't. It's just uh, it just kind of like left that important detail out. Omitted, I should say. Thank you, even boy. I'm gonna take a quick break to do my Duolingo classes. So. Give me a second, chat. It appears I'm about to get kicked out of Diamond League. This will only take me a few minutes, chat. Thank you for the hugs. Ah, and thank you for the head pit for the hydrate as well. I'll get that in just a second. Hydrate redeem, hydrate redeem. Hydrate redeem. Hydrated. For now. One more lesson and we'll get back to the DSXing. All right, that's out of the way.
Back to the game. I don't know why I'm even keeping bothering to keep these guys alive. They're just mooks. with all these mines. It'll be next to impossible to get around here. Unless... Are those motion censored? I wonder if I can sneak around them somehow. Evidently, no, that's, there is no way around that, apparently. That's dumb. Come to think of it, I haven't seen anything in the game to illustrate that that was possible. Thank you for the posture check as well. Security first? No wonder. These guys are like the terrorist terrorists. Let's see what we got here. That's a lot of them. We'll have to take them out one by one. We're gonna if we want to get out of there, get through here without killing anyone in the process. What a pain. Yari Yari Daze. I guess it was a good thing I had kept all these stun gun ammos anyway, huh? Wasn't quick enough.
try it one more time. So this time we will quickly stun one of them, run over, insta take out, insta take down the others. He was firing even as he was running towards the alarm bell, towards the alarm panel. That's kind of dumb. Hmm. So much jank in this game that we didn't realize at the time. Yeah, come over here, man. Come on. I don't think I counts as a ghost because he still managed to get a shot off. I just need to find a way to distract him. Or distract them. Must have just been the wind. Let's see what's behind this door. Gunshots! You've got to help me! You've got to come! I'm only gonna ask you this once, Sandoval. Where are the scientists you helped kidnap? I... I don't know! I know all about FEMA and how you removed the GPLs. I didn't! I didn't remove anything! I swear it! The operation was too dangerous! They would have died if I removed them! All I could do was switch them to a lower frequency! The GPLs are still broadcasting? I don't know. Probably. Well, Sandy, you're gonna help me find out. We're going back to Detroit, where you and I are gonna... Ugh. Come out 
I see you! Richard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. United Nations coordinates. This is Eliza Kassar reporting to you live from Pikus. What will I dump to take the painkillers? One of these gas grenades, maybe? Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by Pikus. Let me check on something. Here's a dialogue challenge. This is different. What did I do different about this in this uh, quest which changed the way things turned out? Well, it's because I'm fairly sure that in the original game, I confronted Bill Taggart pers in person to find Isaiah Sandoval. And I don't even remember this whole part of the game where you go into an underground bunker to find Sandoval. Everything just feels different. According to this, it is possible to lock him into being hostile. It is possible to accidentally lock the mission path to Sandoval being hostile instead of suicidal. So, maybe it's because in previous playthroughs of this game, I the host has typically talked with Bill Taggart instead of just finding their way around. However, 
In a special case when Jensen gets information regarding Sandoval's location without publicly confronting Taggart, a different cutscene is triggered. Jensen bursts into Sandoval's office as he attempts to contact Help, disarming him and demanding the location of Seraph's kidnapped scientist. After Sandoval reveals what he knows, Jensen suffers a glitch that allows the former to reclaim his revolver and attack him. This forces Jensen to either kill him or knock him out. Other than that, they approach S Other that this is approached Sandoval through his brother Ezekiel, it is never fully explained why the tyrants turn to Sandoval for resistance. Yeah, this is all new. For all we know, it's a Mandela effect. Nope, according to the wiki, it says here that this is actually a different, uh, a different arc, a different. It's one of the many ways to get this, uh, this whole thing could have turned out, basically. Sparking the riots appears to show scientists performing crude, torture-like experiments on teams of augmented super soldiers. Just minutes ago, Zhao Yun Wu, CEO of the Taiyong Medical Corporation, commented on the news. I want the world to know. Have not and never will be your people. What are we doing next? Let me check to see what else I may have missed, just in case. Mm. Eh, let's just play it through the rest of the game. Since it's already way different from the traditional playthrough that I had. I don't know why I got myself killed on purpose, but...
Let's head out. How do we get out of here again? The kind of wild how different this playthrough has been so far compared to my usual ones. We never got to meet Bill Taggart after all. Interestingly enough. We've changed the butterfly effect of the game. Running out of stun bullets. going next, we're not going to be needing non-lethal weaponry. Honestly. Really wish I still had my double barrel shotgun on us. I wish I had room for the rocket launchers too, but I don't. <laughs> It might come in handy in the next section. We'll have to make do, I guess. So rocket launcher takes up quite a bit of space. And I'm ready filled up with a sniper rifle. The pep gun. We're gonna continue to play through this part, the next part, part that comes next, so that y'all understand what I'm getting at.
There's Malak right on time. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Not yet, Malik. I want to check a few things out first. Roger that. I'm here if you need me. Pretty sure I did all the side quests in this area. But let me check just to make sure. Is it not going to let me... I guess that's just a gallery? What in the world's this? Why didn't the game... Oh, I know what I did wrong. As we were leaving the convention center, there was someone on trying to contact the police on the radio. 
That was probably Nicholas White. So what we were supposed to do was to go talk to him to see what it was that was going on before leaving Detroit. So what we should be doing, instead of going directly to the next area, is completing these side quests. Because I was thinking to myself, these seem a little, these side quests seemed a little too few for the location. He did not ask for this. Hey Tank, what you up to? Welcome to the stream. I guess I actually end up missing a lot of uh, side quests after all. I thought the side quests would just appear to you naturally, but there are some that you need to really talk to everyone in order to get them, huh? All right, let's see if we can complete these side quests before we leave. There's no point in rushing through this game anyway. Let's uh, go to the convention center first, which is all the way down there again. Also stop by Seraph headquarters. Here we go. That was starting to annoy me. I thought it was time. Stop by Seraph first. I'm not even sure if I could even approach Seraph because there's like writing and shit all over the place. Oh, right. I actually can't even go to Seraph right now. So, how the hell am I supposed to...
One second. One second. Ah, thank you for the hydrate redeem, Asha. How are you doing tonight? I'm just backtracking in this game in Deus Ex to make sure I get a little side quest before I go to the next location. After I do this and the mission after this, I'm going to call it a night. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning to help a, another VTuber friend out with something. How are you doing? You're sleepy as fuck? Did you just wake up? <laughs> oh, you woke up early. I see. <laughs> it happens. Oh, you woke up to a nightmare? I'm sorry to hear that. Come on, come on. There he is. Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you mm -hmm. been? The brass got you on ride control too. Yeah, yeah. One I second, am. let me finish this cutscene. Until... <sighs> Damn it! Look, something big is going down, and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. I'll give you the R no, in just a no, moment. No, I mean, yeah, shit. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place. But nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You've got to help me find Jacob. Sure, we can do that. Actually, but first off, 
Hara, Hara. <laughs> I'm more than happy to oblige, although my RRs seem to. Oh, you enjoyed it? I'm glad. No problem. I'm more than happy. I am always happy to provide you with RRs. I feel like I'm getting better at them with each attempt as well. I have to admit, Nikki, I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. Mm -hmm. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was it. You're very welcome. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly. And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. Hey, I actually don't remember this side mission either, so it's a good thing we came back. So why is it nobody trusts your source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perk facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet, and I don't think he's doing it now. How did White even manage to get his hands on explosives? My source says he got the bomb materials from some government stash out in Highland Park. It's all I know so far. But it all fits! He was last seen ranting at a rally about shattering the foundation of the hypocrisy or some bullshit like that. You know, quoting Che Guevara and talking about violent revolution. Thank God he's a millennial. Did he have a shirt too? What? Anyway. He practically named the date and time of this reckoning. And it's tonight. It has to be. All right. Fine. I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy. Hates cops. Quotes Che Guevara. <laughs> got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me, and and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now. Nikki, relax. Keep it together. I'm trying, Adam. I don't think I'm cut out for this kind of stuff. People could die. We could die. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably going to be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, Okay, but it could be anywhere. He wouldn't risk going to the precinct. Too many people would recognize him. That leaves uh, the transit station, the sewers, and the alleys around the precinct. Look, I need to stay here and report any leads to my CO. Can you check those locations for Jacob or his bomb? All right. No problem. Anything else you can give me? I, uh, I don't know. You remember what White looks like, right? Tall, Caucasian, skinhead? He's not the quietest guy, so you'll probably hear him before you see him. Yeah, a real philosopher king, I remember. Yeah, so if you just keep your eyes and ears open, I'm sure you'll find him. Also, I heard he's had some major augmentation work done. I'd be extra careful around him. I think the white we used to know has been replaced with something much worse. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas. And who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. Great, I dropped all my non-lethal weapons back in the apartment, and I can't be ours to go back and get them. I guess we're just gonna have to punch this light out, so lights out, chat. That's gonna be fun. Of course, we're og to hell and back, so we could probably pull that off. Maybe. Where do we need to check first? Okay. These three locations. These two locations over here. And one underneath here. Okay. Closest one should be on the other side of the subway. We'll start with there.
the tube station, as it were. Nothing here. Let's go ahead and check the next location out. It should be uh, near the side of the police station. Somewhere hereabouts. Shaking their heads like we're a bunch of naughty children. Mm -hmm. So we're not in the alleyway. Should be below deck here. Oh. Well. It appears Mr. White is nearby. How much for the stealthy approach? Dude's fucking nuts. Oh shit. Turret? That's just great. Should be able to knock him out though. Maybe. That did not work. How am I going to take this guy out without any... The gas grenades. I wonder if the gas grenades would work. He's not wearing any sort of gas mask resistant thing, Majigger. Let's load up a gas grenade and see if we can take him out nice and smoothly. If he's off to shit, I can't imagine this actually working though. And did that miss? I think it missed. Thankfully, I do have the peps gun now, still. Oh, fuck. Hey, it actually worked. Would have thought. I did not know the peps gun worked on turrets too. I mean, I know it's supposed to like... It's actually kind of cool. I didn't expect that to work as well as it did. It's 
Is there like a security camera around here? A security system around here that I could use to... At least Jacob White's still alive. Let's see what we got here. Rise up, brothers and sisters. The state's grip may be tightening around people's necks, but it can't choke everyone. The gang war and derelict woe is being provoked by the government to distract people from the nuclear silos they're building below our feet. FEMA is the new intelligence wing of the Department of Defense. But I'm about to repay them. Oh yes, I've liberated explosives for the cause. Join me and help strike a blow against the government and their neo-fascist foot soldiers. Together, we can reshape a, this once great nation. Yep, he's crazy. Oh my god. I didn't even know you could carry these things. I wonder if I could throw it into the electrical water and if it'll kill if it'll die. Uh, note to self, that does actually work. Who'd have thought? That's actually kind of cool that it actually works. Oh, fuck. How am I still alive? Never before would I have thought to kill turrets by throwing them into electrified water. But hey, if the shoe fits, right? I still can't believe that worked as well as it did. We managed to not kill Mr. White either. So, you know. Good thing we have plenty of pistol ammunition. I wonder if I'm electricity resistant as well. Oh, I'm actually electrical proof. I didn't realize. D mining for fun and profit. I think I've successfully managed to clean everything out of here. Where are the explosives, though, is my question. I guess we took out the uh, ringleader, so there's no... We don't need to worry about the explosives now, right? Oh. Silly me. There was a security computer right here. I didn't need to do any of that just now. Access granted. Camera failure. haven't used the peps gun until at all 
and through until this part of the game, but now I'm glad I kept it around. Best part is it didn't actually kill him. It just violently threw shoved him threw him across the floor into a wall. I guess that comes with its own problems. But who's check who's like who's keeping score? I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. I left White unconscious in the sewers under the precinct. Thank God. The Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. We'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Oh, and it isn't much, but take this. The cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it, but you take down a cop killer and you get a bounty, that sort of thing. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but I think you earned it. I threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive. It's good to know you're still one of the good guys, Jensen. By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb, and it's still an issue. You might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, shit. Totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need tonight are more casualties. Thanks, Adam. I really owe you. Maybe a pint down at Maggie's one of these days? Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. Nora 92 to Central. Come in, Central. Over. Nora 92, this is Central. Over. That code 10 I called in earlier is actually gas ordinance. We need EOD down there for cleanup, stat. Tell first response to keep their hands off, and we should quarantine the block just to be sure. Over. 10 4, Nora 92. Thanks for the heads up. Stand by for updates. Central out. That's cool. We finally got a silencer. At last. Um. I thought we got a silencer. Where is it? Oh, there it is. My baby. All it needs is a laser targeting system, and it's pretty much fully kitted out. You can upgrade, fully upgrade the 10mm pistol to just do some stupid shit. It's wild, man. All right. Now let me just check here really quick. I'm pretty sure we did all of the possible... Hmm.
Okay. I think we did all the side missions here in Detroit Part 1. Or Detroit Part 2. Ah. Thank you for the head pat and the posture check. I swear after we talk to Malik this time, we'll end for time. Mm. Unfortunately, we cannot do a six hour stream this evening. I got stuff to do in a few hours. All right, Rita Malik it is. Head back north for a bit. Oh, that's where my missing tranquilizer dart went. What's your pleasure, friend? Be sure to tell all your friends. It just. <laughs> All right, that's loaded in. I got eight peps, should be enough. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, use this as well. 175 health. Okay. Let's head back to our apartment. Or 20 blaze it. What do you think, chat? Should I go pick up my. Should I go grab my stun gun stuff again? Or should I just go with a tranquilizer rifle? Not this one, but.
The footage sparking the riots appears to show scientists performing crude torture rites. Yeah, it's getting late. 12.53. Yeah, we should be good to go. I think these are backwards. Pretty sure this should be energy cell and this should be speed up. Wonder why that's weird. Save game. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yep. Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. I still don't get why they call a thing a helicopter when it's clearly a VTOL craft. Jensen from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. We'll do this next time, chap. I'm starting to pass out. And it is fairly late. We're almost up to four hours tonight. Thank you to everyone who came tonight. I always appreciate your y'all's presence and I hope that you found tonight's stream somewhat enjoyable, even though I didn't talk too much this time. I'm trying to find someone to raid who is of similar comfiness, or I should say similar chillness. As soon as DSX stops freezing. There we go. Let's see what we got tonight. Who is online at this hour? Ah! Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Fortunately, I appear to be out of drink. I'll have to rectify that before I go to bed. Here's the last of my energy juice. Rockland Prime. QT. Busy playing Call to the Lamb, I see. 
That's Cody playing Left 4 Dead 2. Aaron Manwuki playing Deal or No Deal or No Deal, really? I didn't know that was a video game too. Kara Dean is apexing their legends in it. There's actually a lot of people on tonight. Neon is playing multiverses, some gunfire reborn for Valorous stuff. Blue Fur playing Call of Duties. So many choices. Deepcock Galactic. Interesting. Mm. I send you all to an FPS game player at the very least, the very minimum. The question is who? I haven't seen Gooby online in a long time. He's not BTubing right now, though. Usually he would have PNG sitting around right here. Thank you for the head pats. Always appreciate, love your head pats, Vim boy. I don't even remember if we raided Blue Fur in the past. Probably not. We rarely get to see him online because he plays it like this hour, like the earlier mornings on my end. At the same time, Yubi only has one viewer right now. Choices, choices. Oh, he has been playing regularly again. I thought he was taking, I thought he had taken a break for a while. All right, go ahead and visit Blue Fur, since it'll be a first for us tonight. It'll be a nice surprise. His avatar is fairly cute. I didn't know you could have a female avatar in Call of Duty Modern, Modern Warfare 2. Very interesting. Simple raid message for tonight. Once again, everyone, thank you for coming. Have a good evening. And I'll see you all again in around 8 hours. Good night now. It's time to get fucking tactical. Playing some Modern Warfare beta. Oh. 